Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to have a look at the Axio SCX24 which is the Jeep Gladiator version and it's my first ever crawler with a proper license and let's check it out together. And here it is, my first ever officially licensed crawler by Horizon slash Axio, it's the SCX24 Jeep Gladiator with a proper Jeep license, it has LED light, it has a two year warranty, it is ready to run and even more to read on the back and even more licenses in the box, <laughs> wow. Here you have some specifications, worm gears, the scale down platform from the SEX10, plastic coilover shocks, steel axles, the front and rear axles are in a plastic casing and also plastic the drive shafts. And I got the not the blue, the beige version. It looks cool. And also we get a strong motor and a strong 2S LiPo and it's 100% ready to run. Ooh, shiny. We'll have a look at the car later. And here's our manual, please please read it. A sticker, some spares and tools, and even the AA batteries, they were not lying. A USB charger, and the radio. And wow, it looks so futuristic. And yeah, I can kind of one head steer it's a bit difficult but i can get used to it and it is fully proportional so we get steering reverse throttle reverse steering trim throttle trim and steering duro rate and of course the power switch batteries go in here the channel 3 switch must be for the lights i guess don't know what channel 4 means and i probably will not find out I do like this carbon looky, but it's of course not, it's plastic. Okay, now the car. And the stick is already attached, <laughs> yay. The scale details are attached in a way that even if you roll over they won't fall off, which I like because I have been burned. Stock tires are soft and grippy, that seems alright. Yeah, it doesn't feel too bad. The wheels are not bead looks though. I mean, they are made to look like bead locks, but they're not. Here we have some plastic, actually lots of plastic, but is is of good quality and at this size it might be alright. And you can always upgrade. Friction dampers are okay for the size, I guess, but I will upgrade them anyway. But out of the box, it seems alright. So let's pop open the hood or bonnet. Oh, that looks neat, I like it. So the hood is held on with this velcro, which is a neat idea, I like it. And it opens with this hinge. The battery is also held in place by this velcro strap. And as I said, for this size it's a proper 2S LiPo. I think it's 300 milliamp hours. I mean, even 350 milliamp hours, that's nice. And it is super thin. And here we have the 2-in-1 ESC. The power switch at the side. 
So let me put those cables away. So the motor is right next to the center gear. And I'm told it has lots of torque for this size, which is good for crawling, of course. And the servo sits in front on top of the axle, which I think makes sense. Oh yeah, and all the wires go in front in here. Makes it nice and tidy, but also looks a bit fidgety. Oh yeah, and it comes already installed with a figure. Which can still repaint if you want other colors. Remote on. Car on. And the servo appears to be quite powerful, I like it. Oh yeah, and as I said, channel 3, C, off, and, uh-huh, and blinking. Alright, I will have him like that. Right out of the box, the modulation feels so fine, and the torque, yeah, it's present. Now let's see those tires in action, ooh. Oh wow, look at that, look at the suspension. So, right from the very first moment, what I like about this car is for the fact that I am not, or I am far away from being a pro crawler or scale crawler, and it makes it so easy for me to get over those obstacles, that means that the design of this car has been so well manufactured and everything is the way it's supposed to be i mean like right out of the box everything can always be better of course but it is so cool that you can just tackle those small challenges like right away So there you go, I conquered the small hill. It's just like in life, you set yourself some goals, but it's not always easy. Sometimes you have to try and try again. It may sound ridiculous, but it takes focus and willpower to overcome those obstacles. But when you do, it is so satisfying. I, of course, have edited this part because <laughs> I stumbled and tumbled and I rolled over so many times. But I was so happy in, in the end. See for yourself. What I like about those mini RC crawlers in the 124th or 128th scale is that you can bring them everywhere and you can have your adventures almost everywhere. And for example, if you want to start, you start with the model like this. You don't need a huge workbench. You can start like on your desk and then upgrade over time. but. It is so cool to start with that, and I never thought that I would like crawling so much.
Yeah, and since I'm having so much fun and the battery doesn't seem to want to die, so I just went home, slapped on some RCA WD tires and <laughs> give them a ride. And oh wow, it's like they're a perfect fit. They look so cool on this thing. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. You can leave a super thanks if you want to. And thank you so much for watching.